everybody, John Can Cook. Today I'm gonna do something like it's gonna be like freestyle. So like it's like a freestyle cooking. I got vegetables, I got zucchinis, I got potatoes, I got sliced portobello, sliced white mushrooms, and what else? I got kale and lasagna noodles over here. And I'm just gonna freestyle this whole episode. So I'm gonna start off, boil up some chicken broth right here. All right, so now I'm gonna chop up this kale right here and I'm gonna put it in this pot of boiling uh, chicken broth. Okay, so I got my kale chopped up, I got it in the pot, now I'm gonna chop up this onion. Okay, so now the onions are chopped, they're going in the pot too. Okay, now I'm adding this garlic clove in there, just chop it up, elephant garlic, it's really nice. Drop that in the mix too, let that boil. Now I'm going to chop up some of these potatoes and put these red potatoes and put them in here too. This needs more water because it needs more water because it needs more water. Which is going to mean it's going to need more chicken broth to, to bring the flavor up to par. Okay, so now I've added red potatoes. I'm going to move on to my next ingredient when I can figure out what it is. Oh yeah, just going to add some extra virgin olive oil in here because that always makes everything taste better. Give it a nice stir with my giant salad fork that I like to use for making big stock soups and stuff like this. It's already starting to smell good. Okay, so now I've chopped up some zucchini, my kale and onion and potatoes uh, boiling pretty hard. Now I'm gonna chop up some zucchini. Okay, so now I got my mushroom, or not my mushrooms, well I do have mushrooms. Portobellas, button. Now I got my zucchini and squash, and this is boiling pretty hard. I'm actually gonna pull this off the fire for a second and you're gonna see why in a second okay so we got now this big uh, saute pan we're gonna throw some onions in there and we're gonna start adding the zucchini and the, and the squash in there let that cook I'm gonna add some salt and pepper to this pepper or salt rather still cooking I just added the lid now all right so this is cooked down a little bit now I'm gonna add some these sliced portobellas in here and one pack of these mushrooms right in here so two packs of mushrooms there I'm gonna let it reduce okay now I'm gonna add more salt because I added mushrooms, need to season those. I'm gonna add a little more olive oil because it's getting dry. I always drill a hole in the top of my olive oil so I don't have to unscrew it every time. Okay, so this is done stewing, sauteing, whatever you want to call it. Stewing more than sauteing, but, and I'm gonna put it right here in this bowl, set it off to this. All right, so I got my vegetables ready. Now I'm gonna put this back on. I'm gonna pull some of the kale out of here and let it drain and then I'm gonna add pasta to this so I'm gonna pull some of this out, let it drain, add pasta to this because my girl loves this with pasta alright so now I'm gonna add these uh, bende number eight, what are these called? diamond? how do you pronounce that? Zabkotska 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 now if I were to read that it would say Zabkoka or Zabkaka Okay, so there's the uh, kale, potato, um, and that zababska, whatever stuff, those noodles. So now it's coming to a boil, those noodles are tiny, so I'm just going to turn it off, get, give it a stir, <clears throat> and those noodles are going to get thick by themselves. You can already kind of see them there. Potatoes are nice and soft. There's the noodles. <clears throat> just the residual heat left over. And then I made some uh, hummus in the meantime, in between all that, so I got something to snack on. Mmm, oh, it's so good. Mmm, mm. Okay, so I'll back to all these vegetables. I took some kale out of the soup, I put it in here. I actually needed a lot more kale than that, but you get the idea. So now I'm gonna take some of this, some of this juice. I'm actually just gonna use a spoon because that's not working. Or find something bigger. All right, there's a bunch of juice from sauteing the vegetables and stuff. Put a little bit of that in there. 
Okay, so now I put some juice in the bottom of this pan from these veggies here. This veggie juice. And I'm gonna use these lasagna noodles. I've never used these before, but it, it looks like they're dehydrated. Put them there. Put that there. And you grab some of these veggies. I'm gonna try to make most of the kale be in the middle, so I'm gonna do the other veggies for the other layers. I've never even made this veggie lasagna before, so I'm really am freestyling when I say I'm freestyling. So put some of this there, and then I got some uh, mozzarella white cheddar blend. Put some of that on there. That was a nice chunk right there for me. Okay. Then two more of these. I'm actually going to do three because this is the layer I want to be kale. I want to have a good support. Now you don't have to do it this way. This is the great thing about cooking. You can do all kale, you can do all mushroom, you can do any vegetable you want. I just really like kale and I really like cooking with kale and I really like the way kale tastes. And Kale and I had a love affair in 1973. But that's neither here or there. So... There's that layer, and then I add some cheese. Okay, whoa. You know what else I forgot to add? Some uh, spaghetti sauce. I wasn't even going to, but I, I saw it in the fridge and I figured I might as well. So there's my second layer, more cheese. And the second layer is like the, to me, is the star because the first layer you break into, you want it to be easy to break into. The second layer is like uh, all the, the all star of the dish or so, I like to say. So let me get that spread out there. Nice. And. I'm also going to add feta cheese to this middle layer because you don't want to have that on top because it'll burn. And also, I'm going to put parmesan on this layer. So, like I said, there's your all stars. And I'm going to take probably three more of these, go the opposite way. It's getting wider so I'm gonna do one more and then just do the top layer with the majority of what's left so here's my thing I'm not good with portions so I'm gonna have a lot of this vegetable mix left over but I'm gonna use it for uh, I'll make an omelet out of it or just eat it as a snack because it's almost guilt-free the only thing bad in there really is olive oil if you want to call that bad there's that I'm gonna put the rest of this cheese on there So I've added a little bit of sauce, the rest of the feta cheese, the rest of the other cheese. She just dropped something in the garage. Alright, so I found some more sauce, so I'm going to add a little more sauce. Sauce. The feta. Add a couple more of these on top. Center them up a little bit. Put some of this veggie juice on there. So they absorb that. And then maybe a little more sauce. Again, we're just freestyling here. Okay, so here is the infamous, or the famous, I should say not infamous, actually has potatoes this time. Kale and pastina soup. And Big Mike, he said, next time you bring me some. So Big Mike, I'm going to bring you some. Okay, so there's my lasagna. 
I'm gonna put this in the oven now at about 365 degrees. Okay, so I'm gonna pull lasagna out of the oven now. I know it's been like 25 minutes, half hour or so. Okay. Don't burn yourself. Alright, so these dried up a little bit. So what I'll do is just flip them over like that. Let them absorb some of the juice. That that would be a mistake on my part. I didn't have enough cheese for the top. So, still. Pour a little more juice on it. I think it needs to bake just a little bit longer. Okay, so here's the very end. I threw the whatever... Uh, uh, lasagna noodles I had left over. I threw them in this kale and pastina soup and then I threw two corn cobs in there and then I turned that off again and that's done. That'll be good for a week. Now, this should be the very end of the lasagna. Okay, so there it is. I'm not going to put it right there. There it is. I'm going to let it cool off and then I'm going to uh, cut a piece so you can see what it looks like. Alright folks, here you go. Here's the finished product. I could have used the rest a little more. I got a little more juice than I needed. I just wanted to make sure nothing was dry. So a little less juice next time, but here's a profile. If I let it rest even longer, it would have looked even nicer. So there you go. Veggie, I made the kale and pastina soup. And then improvise this nice veggie lasagna. Yeah.